And good morning, Teo and Deirdre. Just look behind me. You can see the damage that was done. This is the side entrance, the roll up door to the Sacramento County Main Jail right off 6th Street. And you can see it has clearly been compromised. And yes, the suspect did gain entry inside the jail. Let's go to the video just to show you where that car was when we arrived here. It was around 3 30 this morning. The Sheriff's Department says that that driver rammed the side door. You can see how the car ended up inside the on the other side of the uh, roll up door. And that is where Sheriff's officials confirmed that the suspect was able to gain entry into this secure area, make it inside. Now, just to give you a sense of where this is, this is that uh, side where the sign says deliveries, but this is where they deliver those suspects to be booked into the jail. That is where he made uh, access into. He was quickly arrested once inside, but the damage already done. As you can see, that uh, door clearly uh, compromised at this point in time. Now, we've seen deputies uh, on both sides of this door trying to keep this area secured, but back out here live, one more thing I want to point out that's quite interesting here is based on the damage to the car, it sure does uh, seem to suggest that the driver was going in reverse when he slammed into the doorway here. Of course, we're still waiting for more specifics as the Sheriff's Department continues to investigate this. But another interesting thing is I can count one, two, three, at least four different security cameras in the area of this door. So it would be interesting to see if uh, ever we can get access to that exactly how it is this car ran that door because based on the damage, it sure looks like he was going in reverse when the 54 year old suspect did this damage. As for who that suspect is and why he did it, well, at this point in time, his name hasn't been released because the Sheriff's Department says he is currently in the booking process. And once that's complete, they'll release his name. And once it's complete, presumably he'll be in the jail, which, by the way, is right where his car ended up. Live at the Sacramento County Main Jail, Mike Tassell, KCR Race for News.